happy day I'm quick. And my generation, the millennials, are to blame for the iPad generation. A lot of the moms just give their kids iPads and they're like, have fun with that. We've talked about the iPad generation and the iPad moms, but I don't think we've talked about the five minute crafts moms. 11 million parents watched this video. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of kids on TikTok in like 2025 who are like, you remember when mom put toothpaste in a poppet? You remember that? That was one of my favorite times. Mom is cold sleeping with the baby. Um, that the bed's way too small. Yeah, put your hands in your pants and I bet you'll feel nuts. What, what do you, just go to your room or get a blanket. Oh, this is what it's come to. Hello? Do you remember when mom let me squirt toothpaste all over the place while she was going through her makeup cabinet? Oh my goodness, look at all those toothpaste bottles. Are they depicting this like it's normal? Look at that, she's like, there, there goes the last of them. Yep, there goes our quarantine toothpaste. I solved it. Well, guess what? The five minute crafts mom is going to put toothpaste in a poppet. Now I've tried this and it didn't work. You can't pick that up the way five minute crafts makes you feel like you can. Because the toothpaste on the bottom doesn't absorb the baking soda so it doesn't dry and you can't really pop it out. That's false advertising, but I feel like some of these have to be good. Mama Bear is putting Skittles in a waffle maker. But why would you even do that? It just, it just skipped right to the next one. She put Skittles in the waffle maker. What, if you're trying to come up with like an easy, healthy alternative, then make the alternative healthy. This is, just give her a bag of Skittles. Like, I feel like it would taste better than like these weird melted waffle maker popsicles. Oh my. All right, the kid is sick. Uh, that's a really cool thermometer, Five Minute Crafts Mom. I like that. What is she going to do to fix the sick? Give the kids some tea. Give the kids some tea that's too hot. Burn their tongue. Nothing brings a fever down like a good old burnt tongue. And then fix the burn with a lollipop. There, there's just, there, there's too many steps. I do not understand the assignment that, okay, that's a really, really close shot of the tongue licking the, uh, they were like, here, son, all right, lick the popsicle and they just put the camera in here. <laughs> Five minute crafts, mom. Our little girl here, she's a picky, picky eater. She eats the bread except for the crust and throws the plate at her mom. Just here! Um, Kate, stop showing me that tongue. Take your stupid bread, mom. Get it out of here. What is mom gonna do with these crusts? Is she gonna make cinnamon rolls? I think I saw these on TikTok. And I think that 5 Minute Crafts watches TikTok for ideas. Yes. Uh-huh, just bathe it in butter and sugar. I mean, it's a kid, right? The, the kid can surely stand the butter and sugar. Why are you putting ketchup on top of a burger? Do, wait, I thought that these parenting hacks were for children. This is the birthday cake for someone's 21st birthday. This is what it's come to. Parenting never ends. I... Our kitty boy will not eat his yogurt. So mom is going to put sparkles and water in a bag. Okay, make a sensory toy, but how will that make the yogurt taste better? Here, play with this. Now eat your yogurt! Eat it! What? How does that work? I bet you they had like Greek yogurt, like something that tasted really nasty. And then they like did the old Texas switcheroo and switch it with some like nice like vanilla yogurt. Kitty girl will not eat. Uh-uh, I don't want apples. I don't want carrots. Those are gross. What are you gonna do to make them taste better? You're putting them in a, McDo a trademark McDonald's. Are you gonna deep fry them? Are you going to, huh? That's not gonna make them taste better. Whoever made this hack never had a picky eater for a kid. You can't just put vegetables in a McDonald's package and be like, here, fries. Like you associate this carton with like a nice, savory, salty, crispy bite of French fries. And now it's, I'm hitting you with some apples. How would that work? Don't steal her fries. All right, the kid uh, is having trouble using utensils. It happens to the best of us. So now we're loading up the flying saucer. Oh, that thing's actually cool. She's trying to spill it, but she can't. This is like the ultimate prank you can play on your child. But it doesn't even tell you like where to buy it. Ew, okay, the kid's spitting all over themselves. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the the, the fruit that the kid spat out and, and shove it back in their mouth. <laughs> 
I can't. I don't know. That does seem smart. It does seem clean. And it does beat just giving the kid an iPad and being like, here! Mom has taken a little walk with a stroller. She can't handle everything at all. <laughs> You're such a busy bee as a mom. She discovers the use of the baby bag. She would have never known had it not been for five minute crafts. The little girl keeps stealing candy. She's a little thief. She's got the stickiest little fingers and mom's like, mm -mm, I'm gonna put the fruit over the candy and let me guess, she's gonna eat the apple whole. Do not tell me she's gonna eat. No, that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Okay, so we're in front of the green, I mean the picnic and uh, <laughs> it's time to do not let the kid go to the bathroom in the park. Don't do that! Ah! I'm speechless. I just... Uh, no. No, you... Did you keep the toilet where you're keeping the fruit? Girl, I'm sure there's a porta potty like 10 steps that way! She didn't wash her hands after that! Kitty Poo is so sick and 5 Minute Crafts mom is like, Listen, here is your medicine. Oh, she's like, No! How are you gonna make the lemon? Are you gonna put a bowl of fruit underneath it? It seems like wherever you put the fruit, the kid will enjoy. Oh, she's gonna dip a lollipop in it. Yes, I mean, that works. What's with all the close up tongue licks? There's something about it that's just freaking me out. Okay, the kid, again, she's, there, she's picky. These kids are picky. <laughs> and the Oscar for greatest face goes to this kid. Okay, when your kid's doing the little squeaks like that, what do you do? What is a mother to do? Put fruit on top of a toy? Huh? Huh? I guess like make a game out of it, right? But then I, I feel like if she doesn't want to eat the garbanzo beans, then she's not gonna eat the garbanzo beans. What are you so upset about? I'm exhausted. I'm not a parent, but I'm exhausted from watching this. Okay, taping up the floor and making a little track for the kid. That is actually really sweet and really thoughtful. And it doesn't involve putting fruit all over the rug to make the kid eat the fruit. Oh, he's scared. He's a scared little guy. There's eyes in his closet. There's actually a boogeyman in there. Please check the closet. Why are you doing crafts? Somebody is in your child's closet. Monster spray? It's a dude with an ax. I wouldn't let the kid go in there first. You saw, there, there's some activity in there. Actually, that's really smart. That is really, really smart to like make them spray, to make monsters go away. I remember when I was little, my parents were like, if you get out of your bed and you run around at night, that's when the monsters get you. And it was a really good way of like keeping me in bed at night, but it was also a really good way of like scaring me badly. So at least the five minute crafts mother is doing something that makes the kid feel like they have a little weapon. All right, kitty poo is getting the chocolate out of the freezer. Interesting place to keep your chocolate, but I, I respect it. This is a child lock. Child lock in your freezer. I feel like even a little kid would be able to break that though. I certainly would be able to. Or I get a stool and stand on it and like unlock it. Like it would take all of two seconds to solve that problem. And then you're stuck with these two knobs on your fridge that are really hard to get off. All right, this little guy's going for a swing. He's having the time of his life. And the mom is like, I want to help. Oh my gosh. Now you can watch all of the TV and the Twitch that you want and then pull on the little string and it's like Disneyland. It's just like Disneyland. Oh my goodness, that shot. Okay, take a plastic bag. Why are you taking a plastic bag? Put it on your kid, of course. Dress your kid up like garbage. How cute. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's like a painting apron, that's sweet. I bet this uh, mom in yellow feels real stupid. Should have brought a garbage bag. Oh, oh, what a cute little picnic. Oh, the kid's knees got all dirty. Oh, cut the jeans. Make the kids some Daisy Dukes. Daisy Dukes. What are you doing, Five Minute Crafts Mom? You're freaking me. You're getting real crafty. I don't know about this. Do not tell me you made a purse. Do not. Wah! She's wearing a butt purse. This looks like a butt. All the kids are gonna be like, look at the butt purse. <laughs> nice purse. It looks like a front butt. I mean, that's, yeah, that's crafty. That's crafty. Uh, folding kids clothes can be such a drag. So you're gonna take some cardboard and tape and paint. That's actually pretty cool. That, that, you know what? I like that. I like that. I was very skeptical. I was terrified, but that's, that's not too bad. What is mama bear doing now in her little shower? Oh no, she's out. What does this have to do with the kid? She's putting teeth in, oh. 
Oh, she's making her kid a minion. She's not making her kid... Oh. That's not bad, that's pretty cute. I mean, it never hurt anybody to upcycle. These are gonna be the things that the current little generation alpha are talking about. They're gonna be like, remember the conditioner. Remember the butt purses. I do. Mama Bear is about to take a heck of a spill. What pink? <gasps> Ouch, that's gotta kill. And what is she taking her kid's sock off? What? Why did she have to fall for that to happen? Okay, so these are the kinds of socks that you can wear and like you won't slip and fall, but. Did you steal the sock off your kid and now you're wearing it for yourself? All right, daddy boy's got the laundry going. He's got doing laundry outside. Everyone does laundry. Do not, that thing can like fall forward so quick. Oh, I thought he was just gonna launch the kid off of a mountain and be like, have fun. That's just, I mean, you can't hate it because it's recycling, but at the same time, it's just, it's kind of sad. You're not gonna be able to go down any hills in that thing. Your dad's just dragging you in a laundry basket all the way over to 7-Eleven. Oh no, these kids, they just, they're so much. They can't stop drawing on things. And this looks like a job for fruit or cardboard. Fruit or cardboard are the key to the city. They are the key to enlightenment. Oh, it's a cute little coloring book. I guess you'd have to be a pretty good artist. But what five minute crafts mom isn't a good artist after watching this amount of five minute crafts? Oh my goodness, you can redo. That's not bad. I just hope the kid doesn't mind coloring the same three things over and over again. Okay, so the, I, it can't fit over her head. So you just slice it. Just cut it, ruin it, destroy it. Make it into a purse. Don't make it into a purse. I was kidding. I was kidding. She made it into a purse. That's pretty cute though. I mean, at least it doesn't have back pockets and look like a butt. This kid though, he's a little bit older. So modern problems require modern solutions. How are you gonna clean up this kid's toys? Glue them. Oh, ruin them. Oh boy. I don't think he's gonna like that. Remember the time mommy glued your toys to your toy box? Like the iPad's gonna be glued on front and, oh my, well, he doesn't seem to mind. Oh, he likes playing with it. Maybe he's just not too into cars. There's a rip on the shoe, so you're drawing on it. That's cute, that's fine, that's not bad. Don't put your mask on your eyes. The mask is too big. How do you make a mask fit a kid? I've actually never thought of that. That's smart. Well, the kid really likes her yogurt now. Ugh, why do we have to look at the dirty mouths? Like there's nothing more disgusting to me than this. I feel like if it was my own kid, it would be okay. But like, I, ugh, oh, I just can't even look at it. Oh, ugh, okay. Can we have a fix to that? A straw? Maybe the save the turtles thing was such a meme that the five minute crafts moms are just done with it. And maybe they're just as disgusted as I am by like the food face. Okay, little girl is putting on makeup. Are you gonna give her a makeup lesson? Oh boy, don't eat it. Oh no! Are you making her an edible lipstick? I swear like the more mistakes these kids make, the more time you're spending in the kitchen just like making them fake stuff that they can put in their mouths. I feel like we're enabling them at this point. That looks good, I would eat that actually. Ooh, it looks really crunchy, but I'm sure it tastes good. What? Are you teaching your kid how to floss with corn and a flosser? I guess so. That was the end. Mom's trying to eat her vegetables and the kid is just going wild. Useless dad is rolling in, not really doing too much. So you rip his shirt off, you put it on the- Oh my God! She took dad's shirt and is the kid is stuck to the chair now. This is literally a watered down straight jacket. Like this is just- and the kid's like stuck to the chair and can't move. Now that is some fantastic parenting. Well guys, I think I've had enough of uh, Five Minute Crafts parenting for one day. I've learned, I am reformed. I will now be the finest mother in all the land. Thank goodness for Five Minute Crafts in 2021. I mean, I was taking the piss of them this entire time, but you know, check out their channel. I feel like it's some pretty good entertainment. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.